we're chatting to actor Edu Drent, made famous to many of us as Daniel Potts on Shortland Street. He now plays Dr. Lawrence on Offspring. Edu Drent was born in South Africa but got his start as an actor working on Shortland Street. After three years playing rebellious teen Daniel Potts, Drent left to pursue opportunities in Australia and quickly joined the cast of Offspring. Now in its fifth season on TV1, his character Dr. Lawrence Pethbridge has fast become a fan favourite. You need to know that. I didn't know that. Okay then. Okay. And joining us now live from LA is Edu Drent. Thank you for Hello. joining us. How's it going? Good, good. How are you? Very good. Now, um, you're in Hollywood. Does that mean you're going to be on the movies soon? Have you got some exciting projects oh, you're working on? I hope so, on? one day. What are you working on at the moment? Look, at the moment here, um, uh, it's uh, it's called pilot season, so it's pretty much just a whole bunch of uh, auditions, really. So, uh, so nothing in particular, um, but, uh, you know, I guess it just takes time getting into a new market and uh, we only moved to uh, the US about six months ago, five months ago. So, um, you know, still kind of fresh here. Oh, that is also very exciting. I'm sure you'll get an amazing part very soon. You've had some great characters you've played in the past. A lot of people in New Zealand know you from Shortland Street and obviously Offspring. Do you have a favorite yeah. out of those two characters? Mm. Um, I guess they're so, both so different. I was, I was quite young when I started Shortland Street, so um, you know, it was it was a very particular time, like a particular character, and and Shortland Street's a very unique in the sense that it's so quick. Um, yeah. Uh, and and I, so I really like that. But I have to say, working in Australia was a lot of fun because it was a, a bit of a bigger show. Um, my character was a bit more mature and had, had different challenges. So um, you know, but both both definitely had their fun times for sure. Were you filming Offspring in Melbourne by any chance? I was, I was. Do you know how, you? Do you know how I, I reckon that? You've got a man bun. And a... um, <laughs> can you just give us, a, give us a bit of a demo, a bit of a turn? There it is. Now, I know it started in Melbourne, but it's, it's big in New Zealand now too. Right. What are some trends that are in LA that you're going to bring through to New Zealand? Any wow. new fashion trends we can expect? Um, hey, look, I might get a dog. I feel like everyone here has dogs, okay. little dogs. Yeah. Um, hard to travel with. They but, have to uh, be little, don't they? Like tiny little, little yappy dogs. Yeah. And bag dogs. Yeah, they're like, they, they, they could almost be like rats, you know. <laughs> um, but anyway, so, but so, apart from that, I can't think of any other things that I'm hoping to bring back. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. If you were to make a comeback to, say, Shortland Street, I'm just a really big fan, hypothetically, what would Daniel Potts be up to, do you reckon? Well, seeing as he, like, pretty much won a million bucks, um, <laughs> I reckon he'd probably own the IV. Um, oh, yeah. And he probably that. would have started, like, a coffee business uh, from, you know, his trips to South America. Um, so maybe, like, you know, a roastery and, I don't know, just kind of, yeah, own, pretty much would own everything, I'd say. If, if he, that would be changes. really cool. I'd love to see him come back, that character. Now, we want to play a little bit of a game with you. Um, yeah. It's a play on your name, so we've got do's and don'ts for Edu. So I just want you to tell me your one-word answer, whether do it or don't do it, okay? <clears throat> Shoot. And some of this is really just advice for me. So use butter on sandwiches rather than margarine. Absolutely do it. Okay. Play games on your phone on the toilet. Ooh, don't. I oh, don't. Really? Okay. What about only give two-handed handshakes? That, ooh, it's, it's a tough one, that one. I'm going to go for don't. Okay. Just you might run into the old John, John Key situation. Yes. Um, okay, yeah, yeah, we've all seen that. It's tough enough to keep tabs on one hand, let alone two hands, you know. Fair enough. Okay. Double dipping. It's fine, right? Absolutely. Okay. Why yeah. wouldn't you? Um, hey, you need sauce, you need sauce. Do it. <laughs> I, l I really like you. Okay, make your bed every day. Do it. Oh, okay. Sorry, Eve. That's when you started liking me less, right? Yeah, a little bit. Um, using hashtag YOLO in 2015 is fine, right? Absolutely don't do it. Oh. No. Um, visit the dentist. Do it. Okay, visit the dentist because you're just friends and you just want to hang out. Do it. Okay, what about visit the dentist and try and convince him to take you back because it was only one time. Oh, just don't do it. Okay. Don't, don't do it, don't do it. That's awkward, Eve. Oh. Thank you for the, the relationship advice. 
it's okay. Um, you know, just be I, true to yourself. And uh, no. <laughs> No, no, that was good advice. I'm taking that on board, man. That's going on my wall tonight. I was just trying to channel a bit of Lawrence, you know what I mean? Yes. Um, Play to counsellor. What's the best piece of advice you've ever been given? Ever, that I've ever been given? Um, ooh, that's, uh, look, you know, without sounding cliche, I heard something the other day that said, uh, you know, give people the full weight of who you are and let them deal with it. Um, that doesn't mean be like, you know, a be jerk. a charchy to people. It just means be who you are and don't uh, worry if they judge you or whatever just let them deal with that you know so it's my my gem at the moment that i'm that i'm pondering on awesome thank you so much love the inspiration love chatting to you and hopefully we'll see you up on the big screen soon in hollywood thank you very much eve nice to chat to you too and nice to meet you man he's nice and funny and quick i really hope he does well in hollywood i like you i'm gonna put that quote up on my wall tonight <laughs> I feel like good things should happen to good people and he's a good person. Do you know, I think we should um, Skype some females from now on. Yeah, um, and uh, do you want to have a go at, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and probably, I, I probably won't flirt with him either. <laughs> like you did with Kyle last week and he did.